Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Sea Legend. In continuation of the auxiliary engine fuel pump overall part 1, just a recall, we had discussed the procedures to disassemble the fuel pump from the Yanmar model 6 EY18 ALW genset and dismantle it completely. As mentioned earlier, in this video we will discuss the procedures to inspect the condition of all the parts and proper techniques to assemble back the fuel pump. Guys, please do watch the video carefully, it's worth watching. So let's get started. It is always a good practice to use clean diesel oil to free the deposits on the parts of the fuel pump. First, we will start with the fuel pump plunger. Use of low viscosity fuel oils causes seizure on the plunger barrel matting surfaces. So initially, check for any scratch marks on the surface of the plunger body. Discard the plunger in case you find the edges of the helix screw profile are worn out. Friends, never keep the plunger uncovered. Wrap it inside a clean cloth. Next, clean the barrel and discard the two o-rings located on it. Ensure all the internal openings on the barrel body are clear of any obstructions. Check for any scratch marks or irregular wear on its ports and all other openings. The force of the fuel pump plunger stroke is being transmitted from the drive unit via the plunger guide, exposing it to wear and tear. Do inspect the condition of the plunger guide for the same. The impingement of high speed fuel oil causes erosion at the tip of the deflectors. Replace them if the tip is noticed with any dents. As you all know, the quantity of fuel delivered is regulated by rotating the plunger via the control sleeve and the fuel rack. Check the control sleeve and the fuel rack tip for any signs of cracks. Check the spring for stiffness and cracks. Check the matting surfaces of the two-way delivery valve body for any signs of blow-by from fuel oil. Clear all the passages. Check the two springs of the delivery valve for breakage. Inspect all the other small parts like the valve, the stopper, the ball and the seat. And lastly, the condition of the shim. Friends, as you all know, the plunger and barrel are the main components on the injection pump, whose job is to develop a very high pressure on the fuel, so that it can be efficiently automized by the fuel injectors. Hence, a perfect sealing between the plunger and barrel is very crucial. Do test the plunger barrel condition as shown in the video. In case you need to replace them, always renew the plunger barrel together as a pair. Next, clear all the oil hole passages on the fuel pump body. Guys, the pump is now ready to be assembled back. Start with installing a new o-ring inside the pump body. Install a new o-ring and a ring damper on the barrel. Make sure while installation there is no any twist on the o-ring. Then install a new set of o-ring on the top of the fuel pump, the delivery valve and the two deflectors. Next, secure the pump on the bench wise. Smear a thin layer of copper slip on the barrel. As mentioned earlier, along with the clamping bolts, there is an additional lock bolt to secure the barrel to the pump. 
align this single lock bolt and install the barrel onto the pump body as shown in the video. Secure the barrel with the clamping bolts and tighten them gradually in steps to the specified torque as mentioned in the manual. In our case, it is with a torque of 54 to 59 Newton meters. Friends, please do stick to the specified tightening torque as over tightening can break the bolts. Next, start installing the parts of the delivery valve, proceeding with the shim first. Reconfirm the shim is positioned correctly. Then install the spring, the seat for the ball. Then install the ball, the valve, the second bigger spring, the stopper. And lastly, install back the delivery valve such that the two double pins are in line with the barrel body. Secure the delivery valve with the clamping bolts and tighten them to the specified torque as mentioned in the manual. To reassemble the other parts, turn the pump in opposite direction and secure it properly. Guys, next step is very crucial. So please watch it carefully. There are match marks embossed on the rack and the pinion and also on the plunger which I'll explain later. These match marks should be aligned while the rack and the pinion are in their final position. Install the rack with the mark on the top and secure it with the lock screw. Ensure the tip of the lock screw is in the slot of the rack. Then install the pinion and align it such that the mark on the pinion is matched with the mark on the rack. Confirm the match marks and the tips on the rack and pinion are engaged satisfactorily. Lubricate the mating parts and install the spring retainer along with the spring. Lubricate the plunger. As I had mentioned earlier, there is a punch mark embossed on the plunger. This mark must match with the marks on the rack and the pinion. Along with the spring seat, install the plunger in appropriate position with the marks on the plunger, the pinion and the rack are in line. Lubricate the plunger guide and install it on the plunger and the spring seat. Using a special assembly tool, jack down the plunger guide against the spring until you get the access to the circlip groove. Install the circlip and align the opening of the circlip with the notch inside the groove of the pump body. Friends, prior dismantling the assembly tool, do check the rack moves easily without any obstruction. Also confirm through the hole for the deflector, the circular movement of the plunger with its helix facing the rack side. If the said condition satisfies, dismantle the assembly tool. Assemble the two deflectors and tighten them to the specified top. The fuel pump is now ready to be installed back on the genset. The injection timing for the fuel pump is adjusted by changing the length of the adjusting bolt on the drive unit, which I'll explain in detail in my upcoming video. So friends, if at all you find this video informative, I do expect a like and a pleasing comment from your end. Also do subscribe my channel to be a better engineer on board ships. Wish you all safe seas and healthy stay on board. Thank you.